Hello guys, welcome to the first video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners using SQLite database. In this video series, I will start with creating a JavaFX project and I'm going to connect it with SQLite database and then further we will move towards creating a login page using SQLite in JavaFX and how we can insert, delete or update data in SQLite database using JavaFX. And in the later videos, we will also see how we can use SQLite and JavaFX controls like uh, buttons or text, text boxes or uh, uh, tree view or list view or combo box with SQLite database. Now in this first video, I will start with creating a new SQLite database and we will download a SQLite jar which is required to connect to SQLite database using JavaFX. Okay, so let's get started. Now there are many ways of creating uh, SQLite database on your Windows operating system or on Linux or Mac OS. What I like is I would like to have a plugin in my Firefox uh, browser which allows me to create a SQLite database using a SQLite manager which it provides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Firefox browser and I will click on this button on the right and I will just click this add-ons button and in here I will search for SQLite and it's going to show you all the result and we are interested in this first result which says SQLite manager okay so just click install and it's going to download and install this SQLite manager and it's going to say restart your web browser so I'm going to restart my Firefox web browser and once it's restarted SQLite is added to your Firefox browser now how to search for this SQLite manager. So now once again go to this open menu and you can see here SQLite manager is added to your uh, options here. Okay. Now if you don't find this SQLite manager here you may need to go to customize and in here you will find this SQLite manager and then you just need to drag and drop uh, this into your uh, open menu. So for example, this is SQLite manager. You can just drag and drop this in here. Okay. And then you will be able to see this SQLite manager. Okay. So once uh, everything is finished, you just go to this open menu and open this SQLite manager. Now for the first time, when you open this SQLite manager, it's going to uh, look something like this. So to create a new SQLite database, you can just go to database at the top and you can just say create database or otherwise you can go to this icon and select this icon and it's going to prompt you to create a new database. Now, for example, we are going to create a database called uh, employee DB. Okay. And click OK. And it's going to ask you to save this database at some specified location. So just select some location which you can remember and just say create folder. And now your SQLite database will be created. So you can see my SQLite database is uh, shown at the top here. And when you go to the location where uh, you have saved your database, it will look something like this. So my uh, database name with the extension of SQLite. Now it's not necessary that your uh, SQLite database must have this extension SQLite. It can have the extension .db or some other extension. But in the case of SQLite manager, it creates the database with this extension, which is SQLite. Okay. So now we are going to create a table inside this uh, SQLite database. So just go to this table category under your uh, database name and then right click and just click this option which says create table. And in here, first of all, we are going to uh, give the name to our table, for example, employee. Okay. And in this employee table, I'm going to create some uh, columns. For example, first is uh, ID, second is name, third is surname, fourth is age, 
and we are going to uh, create two extra fields for username and password okay so just write username and the next field is password okay and then give the data type to all of them first id is uh, integer type the name is text type surname is text age is integer username is uh, text and password is text okay and in here you can choose your primary key from here so let's say our primary key is id and in here you can choose if you want your uh, id to be auto incremented or not so let's say yes we want that it should increment with every insert and you can choose if uh, you want to allow the null or not and if you want to allow the unique or not so i will leave them as default and i will just say okay and it's going to create this uh, table inside the database just click yes and now you can see employee database is uh, created and you have these columns inside your database right so just select your uh, table and go to browse and search option here and now we are going to insert some values in this table so just click this option which says add and now let's add some values for example uh, the id name is for example tom's surname is something and age for example 22 and username for now let's say it's uh, test and password is also test for now okay and click ok and click ok and it's going to add this uh, first row inside your table okay so now you have one database and inside your database you have this uh, employee table with one row of data now second step to connect your uh, SQLite database with your uh, Java FX application is to have a SQLite JDBC jar file. So just go to your uh, browser once again and search for SQLite JDBC jar. Okay, and search for this. And the first option which will appear here will be from bitbucketorg x serial slash sqlite minus jdbc so just select this first option from here and it's going to give you uh, these option and we are interested in the latest release which is at the top so just select this sqlite minus jdbc and whatever the latest version is and download this jar file and save it somewhere so i have saved this uh, jar file at the same place uh, as my database so i know that uh, this is the jar file i need to use okay so now we have all the required things to create our javafx project using sqlite database so i think that's it for this video in the next video we are going to create our first javafx project using SQLite database. So stay tuned and please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.